Starting off, we need to install Melon Loader Mod Loader, which you can grab it from the link that I have linked in the description. If you scroll down to the page, you can see this automated installation, and then it says Download Latest for Windows. After you click on this, it will download the installer file that we require. And secondly, you want to click on the .NET 6.0 button right here. After clicking to this, scroll down, find Desktop Runtime, and then find Windows and click X64. You want to install Windows Runtime file before you install the mod loader, otherwise things will go bad for you. After opening up the mod loader, we will be greeted with this menu. This menu by default should see the desktop mate. If it does not, you can click add game manually, find the desktop mate files, and then click on the desktop mate exe. You want to make sure the version is 0.6.6 .6, and then click install. After doing all of this, you want to click OK and close. Secondly, I will be linking the uh, linking the repository below. You want to go to the releases section and then go to the topmost one, which currently is the older version. I have put it below so it doesn't override the older version yet because I haven't released the video yet. But by the time you watch the video, this release, at least this release should be above the off bug fix. You want to make sure you're clicking on the latest one. Coming here, you, you want to download custom avatar loader.zip. After, after the zip is downloaded, you want to right click on desktop mate, manage, and then click browse local files. This will open up the files like so. And you want to open up the zip file, copy everything from here, and then paste it inside of here. You want to make sure there's a Windows Forms DLL right here and then Custom Avatar Loader DLL. After you click Launch, it will launch the Desktop Mate. But you will notice that this takes a while. At the initial startup, after we have installed the Melon Loader, it takes around a minute or so for the files to be generated so that Melon Loader can function properly. This will only happen once, and after that you will never wait this long ever again. If we give it just a bit of time, we will have our little character loaded. Now, we need to find some VRM models. You can find them anywhere. You can find them from Vroid Hub. And I'll quickly show you how Vroid Hub can be done. Now, while you're looking for avatars, if you click on one, you want to make sure the format is VRM 1.0. 0.01s will not load as because of the way of files being imported. You can look up on how to convert your VRM 0.0, .0 models to 1.0 models, which is not hard. After finding a model that you want, or using the one that you have, you want to press F4, and then the find the model file. I will have mine right here. If you choose it, the model will immediately load. And then... You can just right click and quit and never deal with it again. After you launch desktop mates again, it will automatically load the avatar that you have chosen. Like so. If you happen to choose an avatar that is broken, let's say this one that I have right here, it will show you an error saying this file is incompatible. This will also show up when you let's say, move the VRM file from where it was. It doesn't do any copies or anything. As long as you don't move where the VRM file is, it will continue to automatically launch with the character that you have chosen. I will also add something small so to hide up this console. If we go to their page, 
we will see something like this, Melon Loader Hide Console. We can right click on Desktop Mate and click Properties, then add this to the launch options. Doing so and clicking on launch will never show that command prompt again. And you will be immediately greeted with your cute little character.